Hello, my little boosteroos. Welcome to Booster Tutor. I'm Brandon, and as our last crack a pack of Masters 25, and does anyone care? I mean, hey, Master sets you should be used to be special. Now they come out every four months apparently, and no one really cares after a week. But hey, whatever. We used to have GPs based around them in Vegas of all places. But anyway, whatever. We've got two packs to open. We're gonna just you know. Open them up, find out what our pack one pick one be, and hopefully get something of value. I like the uh, little cloud there. Okay. Foil Elvish Piper, very nice. And Mystic Snake, okay. Wow, that's cool. You know, foil epic confrontation and fetid teeth. Not bad. All right. A utopia sprawl. Oh, and street weight. Wow. Okay. Good value all around there. All right. First, we have Diabolic Edict. Um, fine little removal card. Problem is, it's sacrifice. So if they have a token or something, they're going to sacrifice that and it's going to do too much. But I mean, if you make them choose between like two four fours or something it's pretty good especially for only two minute instant speed you can really get them sometimes so i like it i first pick it i can see first picking that it's a you know no okay removal card uh cinder storm too much mana seven mana to deal seven damage hurt creature player at sorcery speed uh no thank you squadron hawk i mean if you can get a few of these i mean you're first picking it so if they're coming around you can get more I've had it happen where like you see one and then that's it. And you're just like, wow, glad I didn't take that squadron hot because there were none others. So, you know, it's a nice card. I, I don't think I'm going to first pick it. So, like maybe if I saw like open that, it's like, okay. And then I saw another one come around like, okay, I'll take that. And maybe the other one will, but I'm not going to first pick it. Cutthroat. I like him in the block aggressive deck. He gets through almost anything, uh, but he's not going to make me go the block aggressive deck because he's not, you know, incredibly strong. He's just, you know, hits for two every turn, which is nice, but not like, oh, I have to go block now. Presence of Gond, um, you know, it's fine. I, it's the untapped shenanigans, so that's a deck, but not very excited by it. Not going to make my whole deck based off this one enchantment. Brainstorm, always a fine card. I mean, much better in Constructed because you get to shuffle your library and stuff. Here, it's like, oh, I get to, you know, get a few cards, but then you're putting your worst back on top, so it's kind of eh whenever you can't shuffle. If you can shuffle, great, but if not, it's okay. Not gonna first pick with that. Path of Peace, white removal, I'll take it. It's uh, sorcery and four, which is like super slow, but destroying any target creature is nice. Yeah, they get to gain four life, but if you get rid of like their bomb, who cares? Let them have the four life. Prophetic Prism, always nice mana fixing and you get to draw a card. So, you know, it's fine. I'm not going to first pick it, though, but if I'm going three colors or splashing for a color, sure, I'll take it. Dark Ritual. I mean, one mana to get three mana. I mean, I guess then you're only getting two extra, but still, very nice. Uh, I, don't, I had a mono black uh, deck, and I didn't run any Dark Rituals, and it still did fine. So I can only imagine that it would be much better in a mono black. Like, it really help it out. But also, it's not really necessary, so I don't think I'd first pick it, actually. Colossal Dreadmaw, I mean, six mana for six, six trample. That's fine. Not very excited by it, but I could see first picking it just cause you know, it's a good little green finisher there. Valor of Akros, I'm guessing. Uh, just too much mana just to get an enchantment that only gives creatures control plus one plus one on the turn. I mean, yeah, if you have like Horling Outburst, that's nice. That's three plus three plus three for each creature. But I don't know, just kind of doesn't do anything on it when you play it and then you have to wait till next turn. It's okay. Not good for an aggressive deck, which it is for, it feels like. Ordeal of Heliod. I mean, it's nice. You make your creature bigger and then in the end you gain three life and it stays, you know, big. So and it's only two mana, so it's not that much an investment. I could see easily running this on a white deck and then 10 mana while getting life isn't like, oh great. I mean, 10 mana, that's a lot. So freed from the real. 
enchantment that makes you do the untap tap shenanigans. So nice. Um, I don't know that whole deck. I'm just kind of eh about. So I don't think. I don't know if I'd first pick this because you want. Yeah, I guess. I, I mean, that deck looks like fun. Looks like it. You can get there, but I don't know. I'm not really excited about that card. Mystic Snake. I mean, yeah, it used to be really good, but now it's four mana for two two with flash. Okay, and you get to counter target spell, but it is two colors, and it's like you have to have two blue. So ugh, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna first pick this. If it comes around, I'm in uh, blue or green. Yeah, I'll take it, but. Committing to those two colors already is, is too hard for me right now. Sorry. And then Foil Elvish Piper, which I think is the probably the pick, but we'll just put it over there for now and discuss. All right. So we have five cards here. Green, white, it looks like mainly. So Edict, I mean, if you want to take it because you won't take the signals, who cares? But I think Path is the better removal, so we'll get rid of that. Um, I think... Out of these, like these three, I would want to take the path. I'd probably get rid of the Dreadmoth first, just because it's you know it's a boring creature, or whatever. It it does work, but eh. And then I would get rid of Order, and then I think it'd be between Path and Elvish Piper. But I think it's easily Elvish Piper. Yeah, it can die real easily just because it's a one one, and the four mana is a lot. But freaking come on, one green and tap it to put any creature in your hand on the battlefield. That's amazing, and especially in this format where there's just crazy creatures. So good. All right, first up, Trumpet Blast. It's, you know, for the aggressive deck. You don't want to first pick it. You want this when you already know you're the aggressive deck. And then it's just, like, amazing. But, yeah, nope, sorry. White Mane Lion, I like this card. It's, you know, two mana for 2-2 two, two with Flash. That's always good. And it can save a creature. It can get your inner of the battlefield effects back going. So, yeah, I like it. Unearth, another card I like just because it's cheap. And it returns any creature with converter mana cost three or less to battlefield. That's nice. And you can just cycle it away. Like, so many options you can do here, it seems like. Well, two options. But, good options. Horley Outburst. Like this card, too. I mean, double red, kind of mana intensive, but not really. Just because, I mean, three mana to get three creatures. That's awesome. Especially in the token deck. Go with the Trumpet Blast. You take this. Maybe take more aggressive cards. Then Trumpet Blast comes back. That's a That's pretty good. <laughs> Ambassador Oak, um, yeah, I like him. I mean, four mana for a 3-3, three, three, that's a hill giant, and that's fine. And then you get another 1-1, one, one, so it's okay, but I'm not going to first pick it. But if I'm in green, and you know it's a later pick, yeah, totally take that. Two creatures on one card. Uh, accumulated Knowledge, it's okay. I mean, it's nice that it's two mana, so if there is more than one, then, like, great. But two mana just to draw a card, and yeah, it's not not good and how often they're gonna be more than one in a draft like against your opponent probably not often so i'm not gonna first pick it ember weaver eh, i like him he, the, the two three for three mana isn't great but i like that he has reach and then if you have a red permanent it's a three three with the first strike that's really nice so you don't have to go green red but if you do hey it's just even better I don't know if it hangs in this pack, but I'll put on the first pick just because I could see it in like a weaker pack, probably. Pillage, uh, I mean, it's a fun card because it destroys land, but I'm not going to first pick this. I probably often wouldn't run this card just because it's like a cyborg card totally, and even then it's like mainly going to use it for the artifact removal. Haunted Fingraph, uh, nah, I just don't like the return creature card at random. I mean... If it was like you get to select that random, not very good. And colorless mana, that's just gonna hurt you more often than not. Mana War, I mean, we can say it's Mana War. It's an awesome card, three mana, two, two, and you get to bounce a creature. But you could use your own to get another ETB going on, or just bounce their creature to do a little tempo, or just bounce their token to kill it. Street Wraith, uh, I mean, they're worth money, sort of, but I'm not going to first pick this. Uh, even like in a black aggressive deck, it's too much mana. Uh, yeah, I get to cycle it, which is nice, but nah, I'm good. Cutthroat. I like Cutthroat a lot, especially in the black aggressive deck, but in any black deck, he's just amazing. Like, 
creatures die all the time, so you're going to make them lose life and you're going to be gaining life. It can just get out of hand really fast and before your opponent even knows, like, oh, wait, I really need to get rid of this guy. So, love him. Utopia Sprawl, I mean, it's fine. Just mana fixing, kind of, and just, I don't know. Not, not going to first pick this. Probably often wouldn't run it too much in a green deck, so, eh. And Fetid Heath, if you want a little bit of value, take this. Uh, but you're not going to first pick it. And if you're, you know, want to splash for a color and you're in white or black already, yeah, totally take it. And then our foil, Epic Confrontation, green removal, always good. And, yeah, gives a little bump and kill something. So play this, kill their creature, then you attack with a bigger guy. So I like it. Man, that was a pretty good pack. All right, what doesn't hang? Uh, first off, I think Ember Weaver. You're gone, sorry. You're okay, but you rely on two colors just to be really good. I think next we'll get rid of... Hmm, I think a White Mane Lion. It's a nice card. I really like it. But it doesn't make me want to go white. I guess it kind of makes me like, hey, I want to get some ETBs. I think next then would be Unearth. Because it's a nice card, but... There's a better black card here, I just have to say. Sorry. Um, next, we'll get rid of Hordling Outburst. I like that card, but... Okay. So, green removal. This guy who just, like, can lose, make you gain a ton of life, then lose a lot of life. Or good old Mana War. I love Mana War. I love green removal, but I think the cutthroat's just so good. Like, if you can get a, the any black deck, really, where you're just killing a ton of creatures, he can get out of hand. Really like him. All right. Good pack, though. All right, there we go. Master 25, we're done. Next month, Dominaria, thank goodness. Uh, remember, I have a Patreon, patreon.com slash boostershooter. Go there, donate $2 or more. Get into a drawing to win all my packs for this month. So that's six packs of Masters 25. Also, I'm on Twitter if you want to follow me, booster underscore tutor. And see you next draft.